one of the things is just uh, a very big diversity of different sounds and colors on the organ. You know, there are, are pipes on the organ that are 16 feet long. There are, are pipes on the organ that are just a few inches, uh, you know, so from the very, very low uh, pipes where pitch is almost inaudible uh, to, to really, really high pitched sounds. And then the way in which these different uh, sounds are combined, you know. So the organ has always tried to reflect uh, other kinds of instruments from the classical music tradition that were popular uh, in a particular era. So, you know, um, yeah, it's always sort of mirrored the orchestra without trying to, to be that, you know, but to sort of reflect um, the, 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 the things about the orchestra that were valued in any given period of time. Uh, and going back to the 16th and 17th century, where uh, musicians would often perform in consorts, so a group of violins or a group of recorders, where you had instruments that looked the same, but were just different sizes uh, and therefore different uh, registers, a soprano, alto, tenor, and bass violin or a soprano, alto, tenor, and bass recorder. So I think the organ works a lot that way, where you have these families of sounds and you'll hear the flute stops, and then you will hear the principal stops, which are the core of the organ sound. Those are like the large uh, string section of a symphony orchestra. And then you hear uh, stops with names like trumpet or oboe uh, that again, uh, imitate the sound of those instruments to a certain extent. So that's a big piece of it. Um, and then just the organ reflecting the world around it. So uh, there are a number of pieces on my program that are inspired by music of the church. Uh, David Hurd's piece, which I'll play towards the end of the program, uh, uses old Gregorian chant melodies that are connected with the medieval church. Uh, but right before that, I'll play a setting of Little David play on your harp, which is a spiritual that comes from the African American tradition. So uh, that might be a tune that originated sometime in the 19th century uh, in slave communities. So it's really interesting to think about the ways in which the organ has always reflected different aspects of society.